Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I'd like to continue with the French menu 2 halal ration and take a look at their lunch and dinner components. So let's get them on a table and see what they look and taste like. So, welcome back to part two of my halal friendly French menu number two. And I already have here, out on the tray, what I would consider lunch from that menu. And for lunch, I'm thinking of having a Royal Ceylon tea. Taking a look at the isotonic drink mix. I have a lamb tagine, and with those, some cereal crackers. There is a nugget or nougat with fruits there is some mackerel with tomatoes and I'm not sure whether that is mackerel fillets or a mackerel pate we'll see when we open it with that some salt biscuits and I have some salt and pepper on standby just in case so let's start where I normally like to start it's making the beverages because they do take a little bit of preparation and we'll have a look at the Ceylon tea now, I have seen these before, um, they are just a simple little tea bag on the string. Again, there is no white over this menu, so we just have to have the sugar. And we'll top that up with some hot water, bringing in a Chinese spoon. And then we can leave that to do its thing. So we'll just leave that for a few minutes to infuse and let it do what it has to do. So, ice tonic drink mix. Now this one it's um, a lemon and lime and mint flavour. It does say 500 millilitres of water. This is about a 300 ml glass. So I shan't put all of it in. Try and get about three quarters of the mix in there. Just hold a little bit back. And it is a, a white granular looking powder. And this one we shall top off with some cold water. Mix in nice and easily. And again, it's a spoon. We'll leave that to do its thing. And the lamb tagine is still very hot, so I'll open the other things as I go. Bring in the knife from part one. Um, these are the cereal biscuits. Let's get those open. Just put those to one side for a moment again a little bit battle damage but nothing too bad there we shall take a look at the nugget or nougat depending on where in the world you're from now I have heard a lot of my US reviewers and friends say these smell a little bit like paint um, it's not a paint we have here in the UK it actually smells something like a, a child's toy play-doh um, rather than paint but there is a an unusual smell so that we'll have a look at the I think these are the salt biscuits okay, put those two on the side We'll have a look at this mackerel in tomatoes. I don't know if these are fillets or whether it's a pate. It would be nice if it's a pate, but we shall see. It is a pate. Mackerel and tomato style paste or pate. I have the salt and pepper on standby. 
and my lamb tagine pre-boiled so let's just peel that back see what we have still extremely hot oh <laughs> burning myself I think I'm gonna to have to pour that out of the tin so looking there's a huge potato a whole potato and carrots and we'll just pour that out of the tin very nice looking meal very chunky nice smell of lamb style stew wow huge huge pieces of meat in there so I also have a Russian spoon on standby which I shall use to remove the tea bag I think that's infused long enough so let's start off with the Ceylon tea nice looking standard tea mm. very nice uh, not bitter not too strong personally I'm a white tea drinker a little addition of milk or creamer would make that a perfect but it is a very nice very decent cup of tea mm. very decent tea and We'll have a look at the isotonic drink mix. This is lemon, lime and mint. It's not very strong with lemon and lime. There's a background hint of lemon and lime there. But you can feel those isotonic salts. As you take a drink, um, it's hard to describe. I wouldn't say there's a sliminess feel to it, but it does feel a very very thick compared to just water you can feel the salts you can feel the isotonic nature of that drink um, not overly lemon and limed a quite pleasant decent uh, drink there so I don't know whether to start with the pate I think I think I'll start with the pate so we have here a tuna and tomato paste or pate that's a little bit of a mix there quite dry quite firm looking let's have a taste on its own mm. tastes very similar to sardines in tomato sauce it's that sort of taste um, just actually ground up and a little bit drier so it's canned sardines or in this case mackerel in a tomato flavoured sauce just tastes like the fillets have been mixed to make a paste very nice not over salty let's try a little bit of the salt cracker with those put a little bit on the end there salt crackers are quite sweet there's quite a lot of sugar in there I would have actually said they were the sweet cracker but they are supposedly the salt quite sweet excuse fingers very crisp very crunchy good background base for my opinion again a little bit too sweet to go with fish I'm going to taste of the cereal cracker Again, has a sweetness to it. Both of these biscuits have a sweetness to them, which you wouldn't really think you'd need. I was expecting a salt, but it's a sweet on that one. And the cereal is also quite sweet as well. Very little difference between the two. But they make a good background cracker. Clean my palate with a little look at this tea. Mm, nice tea. So, 
So have a look at this lamb tagine. Huge pieces of meat. As you can see there, just one. Excuse fingers. There's two. There's three. Four. They actually look like they might be prunes. I'm not sure, but they do look like the prunes. I've never had prunes in a meal before. And as you can see, huge potato. So, let's start with a potato. Typical boiled looking potato. There is a sweetness come through with the carrots. Mm. Oh, that's uh, for me. That's disappointing. I think these are prunes, and they've imported a real sweetness into this dish. I was expecting a typical stew or casserole. For me, that sweet prune. It's sort of taken away a lot of the, the flavour. We have some peas and carrots. Very sweet. Personally, I'm not enjoying that. Because of the sweetness, it also does need some salt and pepper. Um, I don't think there's hardly any salt and pepper. So I'm going to try and counteract that sweetness. By adding all of this salt and pepper. See if I can dull down a little bit of that sweet flavour. Try a piece of this lamb. The lamb has texture, it's not overcooked, um, but it is cooked enough to be enjoyable. Um, lots of meat, you can tell it's meat, it has the fibres. For me, there is a strong, strong sweet prune taste to this gravy, to this meat, to the potato. For me, that is totally ruined what would have been a really enjoyable lamb style stew or casserole. I'm actually finding that quite unpleasant. These prunes, I'm not even going to eat one of those because I can taste them in the gravy, I can taste them throughout the dish and for me that's not a pleasant experience. So very very disappointed there extremely disappointed for what looks to me like a promising hearty meal take a look at this nugget or nougat it's quite soft because it's quite warm today it's about 30 degrees centigrade here in the UK we're having a little bit of a heat wave uh, breaks nice and easy mm -hmm. does have a peculiar smell in the US I've heard people say it smells like paint in the UK we have things like play-doh that the children play with it has a smell of play-doh to it but it's sweet it's soft it's sugary there's a few jello or jelly fruits in there a nice sweet comforting bit of energy excuse me <laughs> I've done it again far too big a bite of that when I need to talk clean my palate again with the tea so I'm gonna leave lunch here overall very disappointed with that lamb tagine it did look extremely promising with those huge chunks of meat and potatoes and vegetables but those, pr those prunes 
I've just gone through the flavour of everything and for me totally ruined what would have been a very enjoyable stew. The mackerel um, is like a sardine and in tomato sauce that have just been mixed into a fine blend. Very nice, very tasty. Enjoyable fish dish. Both the salt and the cereal crackers. To be honest, are far too sweet in my opinion again. A lot of sugar in there. Not needed. There is sweet chocolate ones. Why these couldn't have just been salty and plain, I don't know. But they are a good, decent background cracker. A lot of people wouldn't have trouble with the sweetness. But I don't particularly like sweet crackers as a savoury. So I'm going to leave lunch there. For me, a little bit disappointing, unfortunately, because of the amount of sweetness. And I'm going to come back with the evening meal or dinner. Welcome back to this dinner or evening meal um, of the French menu 2, Halal Ration. And for the evening meal or dinner, I thought I shall have the mint tea and a chocolate, drinking chocolate. We shall have little cats, the pâté de fruits, the chocolate bar and the red fruit commando bar. I have a salted and cereal cracker or biscuit. We have the salmon, rice and vegetables which I'm going to try cold this time. We have a soup, a potato and leek soup and a pudding. And there's also on standby some salt and pepper. So. Let's start where well, I always like to start, those that need a little bit of preparation and we'll start off with the mint tea. Same brand as the Ceylon tea which was a very good quality tea. And exactly the same idea. So I shall just put that in there. And I can smell the mint already. Just give that half a cup and give it a few minutes to do its thing. We shall then move on to the soup I think. We have the potato and leek soup. And oops, This calls for 250 mils of water, hot water. Spilling it all over my table doesn't seem to want to come out the packet <laughs> sometime today would be nice for this to come out we're there all over my table as well but a very fine powdered soup and we'll just give that about half a mug Half a mug of water and a good old mix. Seems to be having a bit of trouble mixing. I don't know if you can see the large clumps there. Doesn't seem to be blending very well. I'm going to leave it at that. You don't want to spend all day watching me stir soup. And we'll move on to the chocolate. A little standard drinking chocolate there. Let's have a little bit of polystyrene, picking up all sorts today. I need to bring back in the trusty knife. And once again, back in. Move the hot water. And again, I'll give it about half a cup. That makes it a little bit easier than the soup. So, we'll open the pâté de fruits, and I think this one is raspberry. It's a sugar coated jelly bar. We'll have a look at the 70% chocolate bar. 
obviously all these snacks would have been meant to be eaten throughout the day you wouldn't have eaten all of these per meal but obviously because of the review I'm doing them all at once and I've got squeaky floorboards again so please excuse any squeaks in the background and this is the fruit commando bar first time I've had one of those I should take the top off of the pudding Put, ah, they are dates I thought that was a pudding totally mistaken they're actually dates a tin of dates should have used my translate and the salmon and rice and vegetables and I said this time I'm trying this cold it may have been a mistake it looks like it's congealed so it might have been a mistake to have cold let's just give this a bit of a mix up nice big chunks of salmon there let's see how we go if I've made a terrible mistake I might whisk it away stick it in the microwave and do a comparison with it hot now I think the mint tea should have infused so we'll just take that bag away and I think that's where we'll start so this is the mint tea it looks like a very light coloured standard tea there's not a lot of flavour there there's not a lot to distinguish it as mint it is a flavoured water, no sugar. I think a lot of herbal tea drinkers would actually enjoy that. I'm not a massive herbal tea drinking fan, but it does seem a decent flavour. There is a lot of flavour there. So I'm sure for a herbal tea drinker, that would be a very, very nice mint tea. Um, I think I shall have a look at the chocolate before I go to the savoury now. So here's the drinking chocolate. very light not overly chocolated um, a gentle drinking chocolate not as strong as the British but still a very pleasant chocolate side dish would go nice as a mocha with this other coffee which I've got to the back there now I'm intrigued I want to take a look at this rice salmon and vegetables now there is large pieces of salmon we can see the vegetables which look like a bit of bell pepper and there's a few sweet corn in there I did say I'll try this cold might have been a mistake may have to stop the video come back with it nice and warm but we'll see a piece of salmon and rice mm. actually very pleasant I think it would have gone nice warm but just equally as pleasant cold there is some rice there there is a creaminess to it which I'm sure if you warmed up would turn into like a, a gravy the rice is only just cooked it isn't soggy it isn't gloopy nice big pieces of salmon hmm. enjoyable light tasty dish very nice cold but I am intrigued to see the difference of warm so I'm going to pause the camera here I'm going to put this in the microwave and I'll bring it back to see the difference and by the magic of time lapse and microwave cookery we now have the rice and salmon dish back this is our two minutes in the microwave just to simulate the boiling the can in the water it has gone a little bit more moist um, and the grains have broken up a little bit more freely this um, salmon has broken up 
Mm. The flavour has also enhanced. There's much more creaminess to the dish now. Um, there's like a, a, I dare say, chicken or mushroom background. I don't know if there's chicken or mushrooms in here, but there is a, like a slight background taste. That may be a bit of mushroom there, which would explain that. Very pleasant, cold, but I think it's just slightly better if it's in a warm state. So definitely worth a warm up. So nice pieces of salmon, nice soft rice, creamy, tasty, a little bit like a, an onion, um, mushroom flavour. My opinion doesn't need salt and pepper, a nice light dish. So let's move on to take a look at this soup. A little bit of difficulty stirring, dissolving. It is a, you can taste the potatoes, you can taste the cream, the leek is in the background. For once, I think an actual packet soup could do with a little bit of pepper, which is very unusual. Dried uh, packet soups are usually very, very salt and pepper laden. I think this particular one would benefit from a bit of additional pepper. Mm. For me that just helped. A little bit of additional black pepper, but a nice warm comforting soup. I did have some of the biscuits left to have with the main meal from the lunch menu. To be honest, I think they'll be far too sweet. Let's have a look at one of the salt biscuits. A little bit with the salmon and rice. Mm. A bulking agent does nothing to add to the dish. But if you're still a little bit hungry after 300 grams, it will add a few more calories. But, again... Okay not really needed with that rice and plenty plenty filling clean my palate with a minced tea a nice little simple palate cleanser I think I'm going to try one of these dates I don't know if they're stoned or still have the stones in them they're just dry dates They have been de-stoned. They are just typical dry dates. Nice, fresh, juicy, sweet. If you like figs and dates, which I actually do, it's a very nice quality, sweet, sweet dried date. I am dying to try one of these fruit commando bars. I've not had one of these ones before, this particular flavour. So, very much similar to the last one, like a fudge type texture. Mm. Sugar crunches. And the background flavour of red berries. You wouldn't distinguish what's red berry, you couldn't say that's strawberry or raspberry, but you can just tell there's a red berry flavouring in there. Personally I think that is an improvement over the coffee coffee version. Very nice, very tasty, very sweet. A bit of sweetness. We'll look at the raspberry Pate de fruits, again a good jelly bar with crust, sugar and crusting. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very sweet, soft jelly with a 
artificial raspberry flavouring again very nice bit of sweetness bit of an energy boost when you might need it most very pleasant and the chocolate slightly bloomed but not a great deal nice easy snap mm. good quality melts on your tongue not overly bitter nice quality dark high cocoa content chocolate all very nice sweet energy boosters another taste of the drinking chocolate so quick recap of the evening meal or dinner mint tea delicate not overpowering I'm not an expert at all for herbal teas but I'm sure a lot of herbal tea drinkers would say that's a very nice quality decent mint tea it's certainly refreshing nice palate cleanser and I'm not a herbal tea drinker so whether that's anything to go by I don't know the soup very difficult to mix would didn't want to mix in eventually it mixed I thought it needed a little bit more black pepper which is very unusual for a powdered soup they're normally laden with salt and pepper mm. but it's thick it's creamy you can taste the potatoes you can taste the cream mm. and it's a nice pleasing soup drink the drinking chocolate delicate gentle mild chocolate not overpowering not a lot of chocolate in there but still a decent chocolate drink I think that one would have gone better with the addition of the last coffee powder to make a chocolate mucker I think that would have given it a little bit more flavor but still a nice pleasing chocolatey drink the salmon and rice and vegetables first I tried it cold perfectly palatable light and refreshing but by warming it you brought out a whole lot more of the flavor you sort of made the rice softer creamier flavor of mushroom came through flavor of cream came through lots of salmon in there lots of rice nice tasty dish hot or cold the crackers not over impressed why the cereal and the salt crackers have to be so sweet I do not know why the salt just can contain salt and the cereal just be plain that would have made them far better the sweetness made them a little bit difficult to use as a savoury um, but still for what they are they are a decent quality crisp cracker an extra booster of calories unusual um, a tin of dates I was expecting a milky pudding should have used my translate but for what they are they're a quality stoned date no stones in there they've been removed sweet fresh moist tasty um, all the sweets the cereal bar the, sorry the commando fruit very nice crispy energy boost nice to see a different flavor apart from coffee decent chocolate as always 70% cocoa melts in your mouth very nice and the pate de fruits raspberry sugar encrusted jelly stick raspberry flavored very artificial but still a nice tasty snack so that is the entire contents of this halal menu 2 French ration my opinion little bit of a mixed bag a very big disappointment with the lamb to jean, with the sweetness but overall most of the contents most people would find very happy and very satisfactory so I'm going to leave it here thanks for watching please like share subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon so thank you and goodbye